you know, who was that team that won the World Series back in you know twelve years ago? Uh, that guy that played, you know, and you you know, so you, next thing you know, you'd be standing on the front lawn, maybe talking to your neighbor and chewing on that subject and. Uh, I don't know. Let's go down the street and ask Carrie. And and, and and that old front porch thing where people yeah meet and talk, discuss things. And now you don't need all those fucking people. You just Google it, and the answer's right there. So so what what you've done is you've eliminated uh, an excuse to get on the horn, to get on the phone to somebody. And and I think though too, you know, I mean, the phone can be a time waster. You know, I mean, how many times have you called someone or someone's called you? just to discuss something but you end up on the phone for an hour with them because you know okay well now that we're here this you find yourself chit chat and then an hour goes by maybe two hours you know and then you hang up and you go holy fuck i'm two hours behind now you know Cause yeah i've done that where i've done that Google doesn't waste your time. You got your answer, and you're you're on to the next thing. <laughs> well, you know that's just it. And I've always thought that the phone was just to get and receive information anyway. I've never really have been like a phone chatter type person. On a rare occasions, I do, but not often. Yeah. And you know, with, with some even online, with some exceptions, you know, like you know, like I I, I can get on a horn with Deb, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll ramble on for hours sometimes, and you know, I got some family members that are the same way, but. Those are few and far in between. Usually, I just, um, you know, I want to know what, find out what I need to find out, and I'm done. So, right. with that, does come the dehumanization because we're more plugged into the machine. So, I, I would have to agree with that. That, that, to me, I think, um, yeah, um, goes back yeah, to the know, original thing that internet is a double-edged sword. Yeah, it, it's, um, you know, I still, I, I. It's an adjustment where I, I never get used to it, and in some ways it's scary because it's a portal. You know, it's like when television came. You know, there was radio before television. Families would sit around the radio. You know, mm -hmm. that was entertainment. It sounds sounds so Neanderthal now, uh, but, but I mean, they would actually pull up chairs around the old radio and they'd listen to those old shows. You know, like The Shadow Knows or the comedians of the time or whatever and then when television came along that that was that was a, a new portal to the world you know and it still is mm -hmm. but I, I don't think i don't think tel i don't think television will ever be able to compete with the internet you know because like i'll, I'll watch tv but you know to me it can't compare to like youtube man i mean i i could like i could spend 24 hours a day on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing all the shit that's on there. Or you know, even for, just the websites that have the older TV shows that are on it. You go to Hulu.com. You ever been there? So where? It's called Hulu.com. No. Who do? Hulu. H-U-L-U. Oh, okay. No. I think I yeah. may have heard of it. Yeah, it's a video streaming site. And, um, yeah. Uh, they have, like, a bunch of TV shows. Current and a lot of old shows on there, too. Um, where you could just watch it, click on demand, no TV required. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah, that's um, and 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 how how is that make you know? It's an interesting study. I mean, you know, because we always have been a convenience-based country. Mm -hmm. We invented drive. fast food. And, and so, like, when, when, you know, we're always we're either evolving or de devolving. I I think we do a little of both as a human species and. I, I guess time will tell what, what, how, how we will become as a human race when everything is expected and delivered on demand. Um, because you know, you know uh, that, that old saying, you know, patience is virtue. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Um, I think we're becoming. I know I'm extremely impatient, but I, I don't think it has to do with. Um, um, with, with that little kid mentality of I want my candy and I want it now, I, I think it just me personally. It's just because I'm very tired and I need a vacation and I'm burnt out. Yeah, you know and, what? And I, I, and I find myself going off the handle around the house just at little fucking things like you know. I'm not going to get into that, but um, 
I, I think um, sometimes when I'm happiest is when I'm away from the computer, I'm away from the TV, even away from the house, mm -hmm. and I'm just walking through the country, um, through the woods or along the lake. And I, I live out in the country up here in northern Illinois, a lot of beautiful places to escape to. Um, <laughs> that's why I hate the fucking winter. Is I don't even go outside unless I have to go to a show or something. I just hate right. the cold. But but during the summer, when I'm just like traipsing through the the woods with my dog, you know, and and um, I might pack a six pack, you know, and 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 I got my little spots down by the water, and I'll I'll bring my MP3 player and. I tell you, man, those are some of my happiest times when I'm just away from all that, from all the technology. I can, know? I can completely relate to that, Pete. I, yeah. I got a slideshow I play on the show. Um, I gotta go find it and load it. But yeah, like a yeah, half hour slideshow, right, where right. it's my walk through. Um, because around here we got like a lot of old Civil War battlefields. Right, it's really right. a fascinating thing. Yeah, a lot, a lot of history in your area, oh, yeah. of the country, Kinda Virginia. Of... You're, yeah, you West Virginia. Oh, uh, I'm Virginia? not in West. I, I'm in Virginia. I'm not in West by God, Virginia. I'm okay. in Virginia by God. Well, uh, Virginia <laughs> is that, that. That's isn't that where the um, the unknown soldiers buried? Or is that Washington D.C.? That's the, it's up by D.C. It's in Arlington, okay. Virginia. Um, Arlington. Okay, that's in Arlington. It's yeah, in Arlington yeah. National Cemetery. Yeah. Um, but where I'm at right here, I could literally um, walk out my front door and maybe take about a half hour hike and be in a Civil War battlefield. Right, right. In any direction. Right, right. right. And um, you know, and I I can totally relate to that. When I and when I go on these trips, you know, I, I'll leave the cell phone behind. I might grab my bike, but I'll leave the cell phone behind. You know, I don't right. take anything with me. And um, you know, you just. Just and there's this one spot in particular over at Chan. I'm sure you remember the Civil War battle at Chancellorsville, right? Um, or remember reading about it rather. I'm not saying you're that old, but anyway. Um, <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> there's this one spot in particular where there's I, never I did not fight around. the Civil War myself. No. I, I didn't fight the Civil War, Jack. If that's what um, you're saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, really. There's this yeah. one spot in particular where it's just absolutely, and there's never anyone around, just nothing, but you're like in the woods, it's like, but you know, you're parked in a parking lot, there's never anyone there, and it's just like the most awesome place in the world. And I, I you know, I, I can't relate to this like you can as a musician, but you know, in your case, it probably helps get the creative juices going because you're away from everything, you're kind of locked away from everything, and you, you, you let your mind wander, I guess. Exactly, and I, I tell you, you know, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have written the songs and, and put out the albums I have if if I if I didn't do those things, you know. And I I, I think, you know, as, as there's really, you know, there's there's a certain naturalness to being a human being, and um, yes, technology makes the world a better place. In, in many ways, but it also, you know, but you know, everything's everything in moderation. I, I think humans, you know, we're like animals. You know, I mean, I mean, animals. You know, a dog or a horse. You know, I mean, they they just they basically they exist. And if, but of course, that's what puts us above the animals. We're we're right. not content to just exist and wallow in fields and then and lie around. And what makes us great. And exceptional is that we invent and we're, we're always bettering ourselves and making things more convenient but you know to every action there's a reaction you know um we're, you know we're becoming more obese as a society you know obesity wasn't wasn't the problem as recently as, as the 50s and 60s and even 70s as it is now and the, the kids are big weight problem with kids and why is that well i i think it's the conveniences i mean like i was at the mall yesterday you know just kicking around uh, and um and you know going up the escalator you know and i, I 
you know, things like escalators, you know, where, where people used to climb stairs. Well, God forbid you should climb, you have to climb a stair, take an elevator or an escalator. Right. You know, when I was a kid, you know, my old man, we we come we come back from wherever we were. He'd get out of the car, he'd, he'd walk up to this big heavy ass garage door. He, he'd have to really use some muscle to open up that heavy.